to the third round of the Renault National Beach Volleyball Series. We're here on beautiful Surface Paradise Beach in Queensland and we're looking forward to some hot, hot action. In the previous round, reigning champ Bo Soderberg partnered up with his regular teammate, Denmark star Anders Hoyer. They defeated Olympic hopefuls Joshua Slack and Chris McHugh. The teams are back to compete in the third round of this eight-part series to see if they can take home gold. In the girls, number two seed Maria Fay, Artaccio Del Solar and Alice Rocamper showed full-time athletes Bacara Palmer and Louise Borden what they were really made of, beating the pair in front of their home crowd in straight sets. But in this episode, Maria Fay and Alice will have their work cut out for them as Olympic gold medalists Natalie Cook and Tamsin Hinchley make their debut on the stunning surface paradise sand. It'll be the oldies versus the young'uns as we cross now to the women's semi-final, where I'm joined by Jonathan Fogarty. Well, Kerry, looking forward to this one. Nat and Tamsin, they're in their sixth match in a row. They lost an earlier match, so this is still a lot of work for them to do. And it's tough out there. You can see the wind is really playing havoc with the ball. It's moving around a lot. That's, that means there's going to be a lot of rallies and these girls are really going to be testing their fitness and stamina. Very deep sand here in surface too. So you can see the athletes, their legs getting very tired in these long rallies. As you said, Kerry, really going to test the athletes. The great thing about Alison and Maria Fay is that they will keep the ball off the stand time after time after time and it really makes it tough. But Natalie Cook, great in defence, she picks them up and if she gets an opportunity, she absolutely puts it away. So here we are now, one set all in the women's semi-final is it going to be youth versus experience. We know Nat and Tamsin very tired. Can they get through? It's going to be really interesting because as you said before, John, Natalie's played a lot of games. She is the elder statesman out there. We don't want to sort of put the jinx on her. But Tamsin Hinchley, her partner, they both had a year off from playing. Tamsin had a baby. She's the super mum on the court. Um, so they might be lacking in a bit of stamina, but these young guns, I don't know, they're going to they're gonna give it to them. Absolutely. Look at her putting this ball down and a lot of emotion shown by Nat. She's in front of her home crowd. Tamsin's pretty stoked as well. They lead 11-8 now in the third set, remembering we only played a 15. And it's interesting that Alice and Maria Fay have given these two such a fantastic semi-final so far because they really are part-time players at the moment. And we know Natalie and Tamsin are trying to get to the London Olympics this year, so this is a great warm-up event for them. And how much is Nat enjoying playing in front of her home crowd? She's a proud Queenslander. She's leading 12-9 in the third set of a women's semi-final and just crushing a cross court like that. I think Tamsin's enjoying being part of the moment. And I must say, Tamsin's setting Natalie so well at the moment that it's windy, she's got to keep the ball down nice and low, gives Natalie every opportunity to, to place that ball, and Tamsin placing that ball right in the middle. Oh, the big A-frame comes out, Natalie Cook. So this is match point now for a women's semi-final berth, 14-9. Super mum Tamsin Hinchley at the net. Natalie Cook, the defence is outstanding. Can she convert? Oh, just missed. She went for too much. She normally gets that one right deep into the corner. All right, match point number two, 10-14. This time Tamsin. Oh, wonderful defence. That's the best thing about Maria Faye and Alice is their defence. There's no doubt that they keep that ball going. Unless you put it precisely where you want it, it's not going down. So can they save another point? Match point number two, remember, no, it's long. Going through to the women's final, Natalie Cook. And Tamsin Hinchley on their home sand. Nat will be stoked about that. Just long on the baseline. I'm really excited because we um, didn't give ourselves an easy job this tournament. So, I mean, in terms of guts and determination and just getting down and gritty, I'm really, really proud of us. But I don't want to overstate it because we've got one more game to play and, you know, you can't get too excited too early. 
In the other women's semi-finals, the Moen sisters were no match for Bartoli and Bataglin, with the girls from Manly winning 21-12 and 21-18. It's going to be an interesting women's final where we have the seasoned athletes Cook and Hinchley up against the very young Sarah Bataglin and Katie Bartoli. Now, these conditions are going to favour their game. The wind is what they love to play in, and they are the most consistent team so far on the tour, having played all events till now. But coming up next, all MN semi-final action, as well as the battle for bronze.